Welcome to the spoken tutorial on Select with Aggregate Functions. In this tutorial, we will learn more classes that can be used with the SELECT statement such as distinct, between, like, in, is null and aggregate functions. To record this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 14.04 operating system, PostgreSQL 9.3.8, PG Admin 1.18. To follow this tutorial, you should have basic understanding of database and tables. For more details, refer to the RDBMS PostgreSQL series on this website. Let us begin. First, we will learn about the distinct class. Distinct keyword is used in the select statement to list distinct and unique values. It removes the duplicate rows or column values from the query result. The syntax is as follows. Select distinct column names from table name where condition. Let us open the PG admin for the demonstration. Click on the SQL icon to open the SQL editor window. Type the code as shown here. This select statement will retrieve the unique city names from the students table. It will eliminate duplicate values from the specified column that is city. Let us execute the query to see the output. Next, we will learn about the between operator. Between operator is used to retrieve values within a given range. The syntax is select column names from table name where column name between value 1 and value 2. Let us see an example for between operator. Let us clear the screen and type the code for this query. Say I want to retrieve details of students who are born between January 1995 and January 1996. Let us see the output. Notice the output shows the list of students as expected. We will see another example for between operator. This query will show all rows from the students table where the CGPA value is between 7.8 and 8.5. Let us see the output. Notice from the output that the value is inclusive of 7.8 and 8.5. The same query can also be written as shown here. Instead of a between operator, we can use greater than or equal to and lesser than or equal to operators. Execute the query to see the output. Next, we will learn about the like operator. Like operator is used to match text values against a given pattern. It allows wildcard characters to be used within the WHERE class. There are two wildcards that can be used in conjunction with the LIKE operator. Percent, the percent sign matches any sequence of string of any length. Underscore, the underscore matches a single character. We will see few examples using percent wildcard. Suppose I don't remember the exact name of a student, but I remember that the student's name begins with the letter R A. It is very difficult to search the entire student's table as there are many rows in the table. To make the search easy, we can use the like operator as shown here. Here, all the students' names start with R, A and is followed by any sequence of characters. This is called pattern matching. Let us see a few more examples. Type the code as shown. This query returns those rows where the students' names end with 
L A. There can be any number of characters before L A. Let us see another pattern. This statement returns all the rows where the student's name has A M in the middle. Note person sign before and after A M. Next, we will see how to use underscore to match a single character. This will fetch rows of students whose name has three characters and has A in the second position. Underscore R person matches students whose names begin with a single character. It is followed by R and ends with any number of characters. Let us see the output. Next, we will see how to use in operator. Use in operator in the where class to check if the value matches any value in a given list. The syntax is select column names from table name where column name in value one comma value two etc. Let us see an example. This statement will return. All rows from the students table where the city is either Chennai or Nagpur or Hyderabad. It helps to reduce the usage of multiple OR conditions to get the same result. Let us see the output. Next, we will see how to use the is null operator in the select statement. This statement will list down the records where the date of birth column is empty. In the same way, we can also use the is not null operator as shown here. Let us now learn about aggregate functions. Aggregate functions are PostgreSQL built-in functions. It operates on several rows of a query and returns a single result. List of aggregate functions. Count. It returns the number of rows in a table. Sum returns the sum of a selected column. Max returns the largest value of a specified column. Min returns the smallest value of a specified column. AVG returns the average value for a specified column. Switch back to the SQL editor window. Let's say we want to count the number of existing records in the students table. For that, type the code as shown here. The count, open parenthesis, asterisk, close parenthesis function, returns the number of rows that are fetched by the select statement. Execute this query to see the output. There are 14 records in the students table. We can also specify the column name in the function as shown here. Once again, execute the query. Why is it showing 13? Because the count function only counts values which are not null. Let us see the output when we specify the date of birth column. Type the code and execute. Here, we can see the date of birth column value is null for the student Ram Charan. I have left date of birth column blank during record creation for this student. So the count function displays the output as 13. Next, let us see how to use the sum function. Let us clear the screen. Type the code as shown here and execute the query. This returns the summed up value of the CGPA column. You can also give an additional var condition as shown here. This returns the sum of CGPA values of the students who are from Mumbai city. Next, let us find the maximum CGPA score. This select statement returns the maximum CGPA score from the students table. 9.6 is the highest CGPA score in the students table. Likewise, you can try the remaining aggregate functions on your own. With this, 
we come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learnt about more classes that can be used with the select statement such as distinct, between, like, in, is null and aggregate functions. As an assignment, write select statements to display all columns from students table where the student name ends with A. Display the minimum and average of the CGPA column. The video at the following link summarizes a spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops and gives certificates. For more details, please write to us. Please post your time queries in this forum. Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by NME ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at this link. This is Nirmala Venkat from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for watching.